So let me know if this is you. As you actually start to decelerate on your serve and your ball kind of floats and flies and gets away from you. Attention 4.0 recreational tennis players and below. This might be the most important serve lesson of your life. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hey guys, Pete here with Crunch Time Coaching and today I have a very important serve lesson for you that I think is going to help you out a great deal in the near term and in the long term development of your serve. So I have a question for you. When you go to play and hit your serve, do you hit your serve? Meaning that are you able to come up and swing as fast as you want and accelerate and have the ball still go in? Or do you feel more comfortable pushing your serve? And should you be hitting your serve or pushing your serve? That is the big question. That's what I'm going to help you answer in today's tennis lesson. Now, the advice I'm about to give you might shock a lot of you out there, but hear me out. I recommend that most of you watching this video in the short term should probably be pushing your serve in if you want to have more success in your tennis matches, right? And you're probably thinking, what? what? That makes no sense. You mean you actually want me to go into my matches and come here and push my serve in rather than step up in my matches and hit my serve in? That is exactly what I'm telling you and here is why, okay? Because unless you have the fundamentals down, Okay, you've got your continental grip, you've got that master, that feels great. You don't have a waiter tray position on your serve. You feel very comfortable with the concept of spin, almost to the point of mastery, right? If you don't feel like you have all those down, in your matches you are better off pushing your serve in. Because if you haven't developed all of those good traits that I just talked about, all those fundamentals, what's going to end up happening is you're going to be tweening your serve. What is a tween? So I've been talking about this a lot in my videos. I say hitters win. So if you can step up and you can hit a forehand, you have great technique, well you're going to win a lot of matches. Obviously if you can do that on the serve, that's a game changer. Pushers win, right? Maybe the best winning pusher of all time right now on the internet is Mep, most exhausting player, and he actually pushes his serve in as well. So that's going to have a high degree of success because pushers have very good ball control, the good pushers do, and they get a lot of balls in play, and that's really all it takes lots of times to win matches. But tweeners lose. So if you are 4.0 and below, there is a pretty good chance that your serve is in development. You're trying to learn all the quote unquote right things to do that a high level junior is being trained to do and that the pros are doing on the tour. But you don't have that baked in. So if you don't have that baked in, what you're going to end up doing in your matches is you're going to be really thinking about your grip and you're going to be worrying and wondering, you know, am I going to the pizza move or am I not, you know, and you, you want to hit spin on your second serve but you also want to get it in and so you're going to do something called tweening. You're going to come up here and you're going to kind of hit your serve and kind of push your serve and when you do that, let me show you the result. So let me know if this is you, especially on big points, it's a second serve and you're here, you're trying to put spin on it, you're thinking really, really hard, you're thinking about all your moves, and you go and you actually start to decelerate on your serve, and your ball kind of floats and flies and gets away from you, or you go to accelerate, and but you can't quite do it, and then you drop your head and the ball goes in the net, and you're having a nightmare service day. This is because you're trying to do things that you haven't built in your confidence yet. You don't have enough reps. You haven't mastered it. So what's going to happen in a match is it's going to get nervous. It's going to break down and you're going to throw in double faults. Now don't worry. It even happens to one of the best players in the world. Alexander Zarev, he does the same thing you do. He's got a fantastic serve, but for whatever reason, in big moments, many times, he loses his confidence and even though he knows more than all of us watching this video that spin, you see this is why I say maybe you should be pushing your serve in. Spin rewards acceleration, okay? When you have good fundamentals, 
and especially if you like hit a good topspin forehand, that's gonna be rewarded like pretty much the faster you swing, the safer the shot becomes. Look at Rafa, how, how much RPM he gets on the ball and how fast he swings and his forehand is extremely safe. Well, it's the same thing, especially when we're thinking about a second serve. If you have good fundamentals, the faster you swing at the ball and the more spin you can put on it, then the ball becomes safer and falls in the box. See that? I pretty much swung as fast as I can. That ball is going to go in. And when I play matches, I'm going to double fault maybe once or twice, sometimes not at all because I trust my second serve. And I'm going to go up there. I'm going to swing. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tween it. Okay? So if you're not there yet, I'm not saying not to get there. Train on getting there if that's the serve you want. But here's what I am here to tell you. Believe it or not, despite what any coach tells you, there are players out there at a 3-5, 4-0 level who push their serve in. And again, we want to see somebody win a ton of matches against really good players. Look at MEP play his matches. He comes up here and basically pushes a serve in and gets the point started. And when you do that, there are players out there, three, five, four players who have national championship titles who push their serve in. They don't need a great serve. And here's why you don't necessarily need a great serve to win matches. is because you're not playing Novak Djokovic over there, guys. If you can get a serve in with just decent speed, medium pace speed, 4-0 players and below are not going to make you pay for that time in and time out. They might occasionally scorch a ball by you and make you feel like your serve is weak. But to do it two out of three sets consistently, there's very few players that are going to absolutely make you pay for that, especially when you're talking about a 3-5, 3-0 player. So as long as you can come up here and be consistent and push your serve in like that, see that ball carried past and, and landed about here on the second bounce. If I'm doing that, I'm going to be playing in my points. I don't have to be freaking out about my serve. I don't have to need to have 10 different swing thoughts to get the serve in. You can just go out there and play tennis and realize and understand there is no big bad wolf on the other side of the net. No one's going to be just absolutely punishing every single one of your serves. All right? So, that is my advice. If you have not developed your serve to where you have 100% confidence to step up to the line and swing through it and put that spin on there, you should probably be pushing your serve in. And here's what I recommend. I'm not saying don't develop a really good serve because when you do that, that can be a game changer. That can be the reason why you haven't been able to jump up to 4-0 and beyond because once you get up to those levels, especially high 4-0, 4-5s, they will make you pay for a weak serve. They will crush that serve back. So if you want to get up to that level, you do need to develop your serve, but I think it's better to do behind the scenes. Work on it one piece at a time. You've got to embrace the idea of working on small micro progressions. This one little piece of your serve at a time, master that, then the next move, then the next move. And a lot of people are not willing to do that. They want to watch a video, see a tip that makes a ton of sense, and think, okay, now I'm going to go out and use this in my match. And it just doesn't work. You've got to earn it. Everybody who has a really good serve at one point went through the growing pains of mastering the continental grip and got every single checkpoint in the serve down. Now, if you're looking to learn how to do a serve the right way, I've got a free serve course for you to get started. It's actually got 33 free videos in it called Serving A to Z. So if you click up here, right here in the, in the um, card section, you can get that for free. Or if you go down in the description box, you can get that. And don't forget to like this video because every time you like one of my videos, I don't know if you've seen my partner in crime running around the background, but B2, who will pop up here on the screen, will give you 100 free B2 puppy kisses. So we'll see you guys on the next video.